Brent's Burgers. Okay, we are in London, Ontario. I had a show this morning and I have a couple this afternoon and I'm very hungry. So I was deciding what to have for breakfast. I saw a sign for Hero Burger. Now I've seen signs for Hero Burger many times. And so I went in, a few observations right off the bat. I do like, they have a burger called Blue Moon, uh, which is a great song by Frank Sinatra. I mean, several other artists did it. Frank has a great version. Unfortunately, uh, as you might expect, the Blue Moon sort of connection is they have blue cheese on it. So obviously I did not get that. One of the things I wasn't thrilled about, so their signature burger, it comes with cheese. Like, that's part of the burger. They don't have just a plain burger option. So, obviously, I ordered mine with mustard, ketchup, lettuce. I was very specific, no cheese. I confirmed after the order just to make sure there's no cheese. He assured me no. Uh, but my, my, my concern with that, my beef with that, I'm trying to get into puns, uh, is that, that you, you pay more for cheese. And I don't want cheese. So there should be just a plain option that I can order where I'm not paying that extra money for that garbage cheese that I'm not going to have either way. Anyways, first test will be to see if there is actually mustard, ketchup, and lettuce on these or if there is cheese. One thing that I do like right off the bat, they gave me some extra ketchup packets. Now that is a veteran move. Oh man, they gave me like four of them. Okay, that's awesome. Here's the burger, got sort of a cool little package. I'm actually gonna roll down another window here and uh, we'll give this a shot. So let me just compare these. Okay, I think this one might actually be the six ounce. My left hand is weaker. Mm. And stuff to say. Oh wait, they wrote it right on it. Except their writing is barely legible. Okay, that's the four ounce, this is the six ounce. So let's give it a shot here. Hero Burger, London. I've never tried it before. Okay. Okay. So a few observations right off the bat. I don't know. Are those like poppy seeds or what? Okay. Not into opium. And uh, yeah, sesame seeds, you don't need it. They have made, unfortunately, a tremendous rookie mistake and they put the lettuce on the bottom. Okay. Now to their credit, they did put the mustard and the ketchup on top. Okay, so we'll give this a go. I mean, they have brought it upon themselves, but we'll see how it tastes. Okay, one more bite. There's some weird stuff going on here, folks. Okay. Here's my assessment. So the texture of the burger is very interesting. I've only had a few other burgers in my life that have this type of texture. And I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's almost, um, hmm. It's certainly not tough, okay? You do really sort of slice through it. It's, there's not an awful lot of resistance as you're going through it. It's almost like, I don't know if I would say, think of like a mixture of like rubber and, and jello. That's sort of the texture. I know the rubber seems to contradict what I just said about it being easy to get through, but yeah, I don't know. It's a weird texture. It's not It's not bad. I don't mind it. I, I really wish I, I had a better way to sort of describe that, but that's sort of what comes to mind when I'm describing it. Taste-wise, I will say it does have sort of a unique taste to it. Um, it's not bland. This is very distinct. I, now that I've had this, I will know if I try something again. Oh, that tastes like a hero burger. So the patties actually, it tastes pretty good. The texture is a little bit weird. It does concern me. I feel like in about an hour when I'm busting out um, the Tennessee waltz and trying to waltz to that song and doing a terrible job of that, that I may run into some issues uh, in front of the residents. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's not bad. I'm going to say this one more bite here. Hmm. Hmm. I just thought of a better way to describe it. The texture of the, of the patty 
is very much like um, a breakfast sausage, okay, that you would get at just like a breakfast restaurant, and not a breakfast sausage that's been like cooked like really intensely, a breakfast sausage that like it comes out of the oven, you start to eat it, and it's pretty easy to get through with the fork and knife. That's the texture of it. So very interesting. It's pretty good. I'm going to say this burger is hanging out around, I'd say it's around a 7.5. It's a good solid burger. I don't mind it. Price-wise, I don't think it's there. Uh, this one was like 9.95. The other one was 7.95. Um, it's not small. It's not huge. It is overpriced. But anyways, not bad. Last thing I will say about this before I end this review, because I do have to get going to the show. Um, they do have, for the combo, I, I, I typically don't get a combo when I go to burger places, because to me, why would I waste my money on an inferior food like fries and get a drink when I could just get a burger or get two burgers? But I would say, um, if you are going to go here and you want to get some sort of value, I probably would get the combo. Because with the combo, you're only paying like an extra two bucks for the fries and the drink. That seems reasonable, depending on the size of them. I don't know what the sizes are. Uh, but yeah, Hero Burger, not bad. 7.5, value-wise, probably not enough to make me come do it again, unless I'm in a pinch, but it's decent. There we go.